What I'm showing you today is a solution, a hack I came up with to fix the problematic RSS page, uh, Obsidian's published RSS page. It's not good. And even if I'm not sharing that page with other people, anyone trying to guess what's the RSS page of my website will end up on that page that is not good. And I, as far as I understand, there's no way to take it down. It's going to be there forever. Uh, and I needed to fix that. And since I'm not a developer, this is what I came up with. If you are a developer, there is a lot of room to improvement here. Please <laughs> help us make this better for everyone else. If you're not a developer, just follow the steps. You'll be able to do it. But there is also an article I wrote with all the details. I strongly uh, invite you to read the article if you haven't read it yet. You'll find the link here and also down below. Okay, the first thing you need is a new website. Yes, you need another place because if you're using Obsidian Publish, as far as I know, there's no way to do this there. Okay, so I'm using GitHub, which will allow us to create a free website. And there's all the instruction. They have a very good step-by-step. -step. You'll find this and this link below. This is how to create a, a website. And this is how to set your own domain or subdomain. In my case, uh, I set the site with a subdomain, a social.vladcampus.com. Once you, you're done with that, you finish creating your website, you end up with something like this. This is my GitHub page, and we can go to my site here. I went through all those tabs, and this is my site. In reality, the files that go to my site, that create my site, that build my site, okay? There are some files here that have nothing to do with today's video, so I'm not going to talk about them. We're talking about the ones we need for today's video. This is optional. This is my logo. It's here because I, I want the feed to, ha to have a logo, so this is here. Uh, index has nothing to do with today's video. Then we have here item. We'll get to this one. This is part of the builder. This is what I'm using to build the field. And we have RSS. This is where we'll create, we'll build the new RSS feed. If we go back here to create this page, you can do it here, add a file, create a new file. You have to give a name to that file, rss.xml, and click here to commit change. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. But once you do that, you have the file here. You end up in this page here, but it will be a blank page. There will be nothing here. On that article, I'm talking about how to build this. So let's go through it very quickly. And if you want more information, please go to the article, refer to the article. So this part here is kind of the, it's, it's the top part of the feed, which contains all the information about the site. So you can kind of guess here. So link is my website, description is this description of the website, the language. So it's, it's straightforward, just read and you can change and make it your own feed, okay? And below here, there are what we call the items. This here is the description of each item of your uh, website, your blog, I mean. Uh, so we have here title with the title of the post. We have here the link to that post and so on. This one below, this is another item, another post. This one here has also an image. So we have here the thumbnail related to that post, okay? So to build this, what we have to do is keep adding the items related to the feed. I'm doing this manually, at least partially manually, because I'm not a developer and I couldn't figure out another solution. This is what I came up with. And if you're not a developer, you probably need to do the same thing I'm doing here. I could, for example, click here, edit. And I could, for example, copy this, uh, paste it here. And it doesn't matter if it's not a line, okay? Uh, and replace the information with the new information. But this is 
too much prone to error. So what I did, and if you read the article you already know, I asked Gemini to create this, which is my RSS item generator. So what we have here is everything we need to build that item. So let's get this, this is the article I'm talking about. So let's get this article here and use it as an example. So I'm gonna get the title here. So this is what I, I, I'm doing. Add the title here, the URL, this is the URL. The thumbnail is the image. What I'm doing here in Obsidian is right clicking here, copy image address because there's uh, it's a complicated address so as you can see here there's there is this all this code i guess this is my website i don't know <laughs> and then there is description in my case i try to write the description right here so this is what i usually do when i'm writing if you if you are reading my articles this has kind of a summary so this is the description of the post and here it gets the this moment date and time but you can click here and change to whatever you want okay even past items and now i can click here and it created the item for me uh, i can click here to copy this go back here paste it here and that's it all i have to do now is commit change I'm not going to click here because once I click here, that item will be added to my feed, which is this here. And there are still some details that I, I need to add to that article. And this feed, when it is read by uh, any other, any feed aggregator, it will update this and people will see the new post. Okay. One detail that I forgot to add here is uh, this. I'm adding this icons here to tell anyone following the feed what that is. So if you take a look here, there is this little uh, emoji here, the paper, which is related to read, which is a blog post. So when I add uh, a podcast item to the feed or a YouTube video to the feed, I'll change that little uh, icon. So this here needs to be here and just uh, to show you, we can create it again and it will add the, the little uh, emoji there and we can paste this here with the updated information. And although we don't have to align this, I like them aligned. <laughs> okay, but there's one more thing that we need to do here and that is also uh, explained in the article. The article has all the details. If we go all the way down here, we have to change, uh, we have to redirect the current Obsidian RSS feed to the new one. Otherwise, uh, the feed aggregators will keep finding the old one. Uh, and if you're using uh, Obsidian Publish, you're most likely using Cloudflare. And these are the instructions on how to redirect your current feed. So in my case, I'm redirecting uh, this one uh, slash RSS to this one here. So you also find all the details in that article. I know that it is a super specific video, but if you're looking for a, a solution, uh, this is a partial solution. If you are a developer, I bet you can improve that code and make uh, the items uh, be added to the top of the list automatically just by adding the, the details here. And if you do that, please let me know and I'll add a link to your creation in the description below. That's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to help even more, please consider uh, supporting me on Patreon, where there is also a lot of uh, exclusive content for members. Thanks for your time. See you soon.